What the f is wrong with you? Well, George Clooney joined the band of celebrities coming out against Joe Biden and demanding that he step down. Like, this is such a joke. I mean, Donald Trump doesn't need to campaign anymore. The Democrats are doing it for him. The famous people are doing it for him. Like, he can just sit at home, collect donor money, and keep spending on purses and dresses and fuel for his plane and his kids and his drug problem and who knows? Oh, can't forget his defenses for his 34 felonies and his libel sexual abuse. Like, do you guys not see what's happening? Why we're all fighting about Joe Biden's age and his performance during a debate, the right wing is all banding together, like all of them. That's what makes them so dangerous and strong. And they're standing next to Donald Trump a felon, a business fraud, a, an abuser, like not to mention the 70 plus boxes of classified material he took to his private residence, gassing American citizens, asking some of his administration if he could just go ahead and take care of them. Like there is no comparison. I can't believe that the democratic institution is literally sitting there going, you know, Joe Biden's a little bit old. Let's go ahead and give Donald Trump a second run at overthrowing our government. That sounds like a great idea. And if we're going to talk about age, you do realize Donald Trump's like 78, right? He's like a whopping three or four years younger than Biden. So, and I'm pretty sure that Trump's cholesterol levels and blood pressure is a heck of a lot worse than Biden's. And Donald Trump, you know, challenging Biden to a golf swing and talking about his physical fitness. Have you seen that dude swing a golf club? Like, he's the reason they call it a stroke, because every time he swings that thing, he looks like he's going to kill over. And all the people talking about Kamala Harris should step in, she's the vice president. She already steps in if something happens. We're already voting for her. Like, God forbid something happens to Biden, what happens? There's a succession line for a reason. Kamala becomes president. Now, they don't want that. I don't know why Democrats don't want that. But that's what happens. The fact that so many Democrats and liberals are turning their back on Joe Biden right now, 114 days out from this election, with no viable plan of replacing him or anything, just shows you how unorganized our side is and why we lose to them. And in case you need someone to tell you this, the popular vote alone is not enough to win somebody the election. So even if Joe Biden gets 5 million, 10 million, 15 million more votes than Trump, if we don't take care of the electoral college, we're still going to be fucked at the end of the day. So can we stop playing stupid ass games, please? And finally, you know what? This is interesting, but I have an idea that for some reason I haven't seen many or anybody come up with. How about, I know, crazy, but what if they both dropped out? I know, crazy, but what if the felon, the fraud dropped out and the old guy that you don't like how he talks and responds, let's just have them both drop out and both parties have to come up with replacement tickets within the next 114 days and be ready for November 5th. I think that's fair, but that'll never happen. I'll tell you why, because it's not about what's fair. It's not about what's best for the American people. It's about getting a certain sect of people into power. That's all it's about. It's about the rich people getting their tax cuts and us poor people continuing to get screwed. Like, the, if, you, if you see Trump's tax plan and how it's affected us in the last, like, four or six years, like, yeah, great job. Our deficit, Trump added $8.2 to our deficit, almost doubling it in four years. But, yeah, he's a great business guy. You know, Bill Clinton got us into the black. And then we had a Republican president for eight years that drove our deficit up. And then we had another Democratic president who managed to pull us out of recession. And then we had Trump who ran up, who doubled our deficit. Such a good business guy, right? I mean, we saw substantial and verifiable data to back up that Donald Trump is a great business guy, right? No. We saw once again that Donald Trump is a failure at everything he touches. And the only thing he's good at is conning you out of your money. I'm voting for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris or whoever the f*** the Democratic Party decides to put up.